Hello, beautiful beings of this universe. Uh, Y'all won't believe what the freak just happened. I thought I was filming a reading and I was not, okay, this whole time. I, I spent like 30 minutes sitting here talking to a camera that wasn't recording, but we're back again. I'm gonna be optimistic. I have to come back because I was called to do this reading for the universe. Take this reading as it resonates for you, y'all. This is a universal message. This is a message from the universe, a message from your higher self, a message from the divine to you. So take it how it resonates. We're tapping into the energy. We're gonna see what's going on here for the collective for the collective universe as a whole. I'm so glad you guys decided to come here today. I appreciate your time, your energy, and may you find resonance with this message today. Peace, love, prosperity, tranquility. What wanted to come out? Dissipating wanted to come out. Hmm. Okay, let's see what's showing up in the energy for the collective. Wow, okay, we got two flippers. We got... We got grief and enlightenment showing up in reverse. So I feel like there's something that you're, you, some sort of loss, some sort of disappointment, something that you're holding on to that you're not able to release, some sort of passing, something that has passed, something that has moved along, something from the past you're still holding on to that has caused you great grief, a lot of pain, and is blocking your ability to shine with enlightenment showing up in reverse. But this experience has happened to give you a sense of wisdom to teach you what life is about. Listen, universe, collective, we are going to go through phases of grief where we leave old phases of our lives. Like, think about it. When you were a child in kindergarten, you had to leave behind your beautiful teacher and your old friends to step into a new school. That could have caused you some grief. But I feel like on a deeper level, somebody has lost something very near and dear to them. And it's been blocking your ability to shine for you to understand um, things on a more enlightened level here. I do feel that... Um, you could be feeling a bit in the dark or like having some sort of darkness around you, some sort of dampered energy at this time. But Spirit is saying like, shine, allow yourself to continue to shine. Know that, yes, we will go through phases of grief in our life, but that's kind of the point. Nothing is supposed to last forever. Somebody could have lost a pet, a dog, and you're still grieving your dog. And it's like, it's hard for you to uh, see the brightness in your days at this point in time because you're still holding on to the death of your loved one or something that you held near and dear to your heart. But Spirit is saying there's greater days to come. You just got to shine. You got to allow that light back in. It's time for you to allow that light back in. I do feel somebody could have like blackout curtains. You might be sleeping with the uh, in your room with the curtains closed. Spirit is saying let that light in. We got forgiveness. Oh, there's somebody that you need to forgive. You might even be needing to forgive yourself at this point in time for not, for taking um, things for granted. There could have been something that you took for granted. But Spirit is saying forgiveness is key. Forgiveness is what's going to bring you to greater levels of comfort. There's somebody or something that you need to forgive. And don't forget, forgiveness is never for that other person. It's for you workaholic it could be somebody that you work with or this could be surrounding your work i feel like somebody could have lost a job for some of you this could have been a job loss or a position a loss of a, a specific position spirit is saying shine light on your your situation Wow, we got empires. So yeah, things are being a little bit blocked off for you at this point in time, but Spirit is just trying to get you to go in a different direction. With this empires, you might feel like there's somebody trying to block your success. Somebody could be, um, Spirit is just trying to get you to go in a different direction on your quest. You are on a quest, a life quest, right? And you got to make sure that you are choosing to move forward, move towards the light instead of staying in the dark, right? Move towards the unknown, right? I know that the unknown could be very scary. You might be trying to follow a specific path, right? Right now, and it could be blocked. You might be trying to take the path most traveled, but Spirit is saying you got to detour, you got to reroute, move around. It's time for you to go around. I'm definitely getting detour vibes. You're on a detour at this point in time in your life, collective. 
Spirit is taking you on a detour, trying to get you to see the scenic route, trying to show you something new instead of following the same path. It's like, kind of like, you know how we take the same road home every day and then sometimes you take a detour because it's like road work or something going on in the road and now you're being opened up to seeing new areas or new scenes that you you might not have seen before so i feel like if you feel a little bit blocked at this point in time that's because there's some forgiveness that is needed at this point in time there's something that you need to forgive so that you can move forward and continue to flow but spirit is also trying to show you something new Spirit is showing you something new and you're going to see life through a different lens once you can finally forgive and let go of the past pain and hurt. Surrender to the sweetness. See, there's something about you feeling like life is not sweet at this point in time. You're not finding pleasure in your life. There's something that took away your pleasure or your joy in life. Like I said, you lost somebody or something that you really cared about that you held near and dear to you. And now you're finding it uh, a challenge to tap into that love again. But Spirit is saying, don't forget to make love to your life. Cherish what you do still have. You do still have a lot to be grateful for. Don't allow grief to swallow you up and, and, and strip you of what you have now, right? Because you still have people that's in your life. You still have things in your life that need your acknowledgement, that need your positive energy and love, including yourself. It's not about them. It's really about you. It's about you finding joy again for your for your own life knowing that you can move forward and still love and the people that you love or the people that love you want that for you if you if you're holding on to the the passing of a loved one um they will want you to be joyful they're very pleased with you they want you to be happy I see you're not for everyone. See, so yeah, I do feel like um, you could have been like outcasted by a specific, like I said, a job or something like that or a group of people, but it's saying you're not for everyone, right? Everybody's not on the same frequency as you. Embrace your own weirdness and face your true north. And I feel like you know that you're not for everybody. I feel like you could be on the edge, on the leading edge. Look at how this woman is living life on the edge. Spirit is saying, live life on the edge. Be edgy, be different. You are a trendsetter. It's time for you to shine light on your weirdness. A lot of people look up to you when you are really shining, when you are confident in yourself, when you are not allowing darkness to consume you. You can't please everyone. Embrace your weirdness. Face your true north. I feel like also you might be feeling a little bit isolated at this point in time. Because spirit is trying to enlighten you. Spirit is trying to give you some time to yourself so that you can be enlightened. Yes. Wow. Oh, my gosh. What else for the collective? Wow. It's like you're embracing all levels of yourself that you might have buried, that you might have let him fall, fall, to, fall into the darkness. It's time for it to come out. It's time for you to shine light on your uniqueness. You're not for everyone, okay? Everybody might not be on the same path to enlightenment as you either at this point in time. Forgiveness for the collective, what we got here. Blue flame, wow. Blue flame. Okay, look, this blue flame is about you awakening. This is like you could be in this very resty period, like where you're just trying to find peace, right? But I feel like you're about to be awakened. There's about to be a major spark in your energy here where you're about to come out of this dark place. Look at how that flame is in this dark room. It's like um, a temple, a dark temple. And now you're lighting up at this point in time. This is what forgiveness is going to do for you. It's going to change your energetic aura. It's like you're going to wake up spontaneously. Wow. Spontaneously waking up. I feel like this forgiveness is about to wake you up on a different level. This is an awakening for you. It's time for you to wake up. This is a wake up call collective. Okay. It's time for you to integrate what it is that you have learned throughout your life experience. It's time for you to set yourself free. Spirit is saying, wait too. 
So there could be like a pause on this. Yeah, with that end pause energy showing up, I feel like right now it's just about you focusing on forgiveness, really forgiving yourself. Forgiveness is not something that you could just do in one day. This is something that you got to continuously do throughout your life. There will be times in your life where people overstep boundaries, where you give people um, access to you and they take advantage, um, or where you're just still holding on to past situations that you might be blaming other people for or still upset with people about doing. Like, you know what I'm saying? You're still upset with certain people for doing certain things that they did to you, but Spirit is saying, look, it's just time for you to really tap into that energy of forgiveness, not for them, but for you, so that you can awaken and ascend to new levels of consciousness and awareness, so that you can really see things from a broader perspective here. Wow, we got two flippers. You got star bathing. Wow, you are a light, you are a star seed. You are a star. It's time for you to take care of yourself, nourish yourself, allow yourself to activate. Yes, this is the energy of activation. It's like your, your gifts are about to be activated. Your star power is about to be activated. Look at this card though. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's like a woman laying down and she's like soaking up the starlight. You might be stargazing or you might want to stargaze, like lay down on the ground and look up at the stars. I don't know if you guys have a window in your room that you could look out the window and stare at the stars, but Spirit is saying just rest and know that you come from that higher place. We all have descended onto this earth plane from the stars above, right? That starlight lives inside of us. It's time for you to tap into your light body. It's time for you to release any dense energies so that you can elevate, so that you can shine like the star that you are. But this is why you got to forgive because you're not going to be able to move forward in a healthy way on your journey if you are still allowing somebody's negative energy to hold you back. And then we got the cosmic heart. Oh my gosh. Your heart. This is all about your heart. I feel like there's a blockage in your heart, but it's like you're overcoming it, collective. This is about devotion and potency. You have a very potent aura, a very potent energy, especially when you're in your heart center. When you are living from your heart space, people are going to be devoted to you. You are going to be more devoted to causes that are in alignment with your heart. Make your life a moving prayer, right? So stay in this place of prayer. What does that mean? Prayer is pretty much like you speaking life over your life, right? The cosmic heart. I do see that you're opening up your heart. You're being very much devoted to your soul's evolution at this point in time. I'm proud of you. Take care of your heart. Stop living in the dark here. There's a lot of people in this world living in the dark. Relationships showed up. Yeah. So this is definitely about a relationship here. Someone that you love so much here. This is why um, I feel like you're grieving. It's some sort of relationships that you're grieving. You might have um, fell out of contact with certain people that you loved or literally life just kind of took them away. Um, but Spirit is saying like, look, when it comes to you trying to build new relationships with people, you're not for everyone. Everybody's not going to want to be your friend. Everybody's not going to want to be in connection with you. But you just need to know that you are attracted to the people that serve your highest good. And you're going to feel it, right? Your relationships should not feel forced. It should just feel good. You know when someone has your best interests at heart. We got failure at the bottom of the deck. So I do feel like you might have felt like a failure because of some relationships. Um ending but you're not a failure you might have even made a mistake in a relationship or a connection with someone but it's like just learn every every mistake is just an opportunity for you to learn you never really truly fail unless you just don't learn from your mistakes and you keep on reliving the same situations over and over again we got judgment showing up here. Wow. So there could be people around you that are judging you or that you want to judge. But Spirit is saying, make proper judgment. Understand that everybody has their own unique path and challenges. So instead of judging one another in a harsh way, look at one another from this beautiful, enlightened perspective that we are all here just trying to find our way. And yes, we make mistakes. All of us have made mistakes in our lives. But we got to be willing to forgive, right? If we want our mistakes to be forgiven, 
then we got to be able to forgive other people for their mistakes, right? We all make mistakes. Self-esteem showing up in reverse. I do feel like there could be somebody's judgment um, that could be lowering your self-esteem, but realize that you are gifted. You have gifts of the soul that benefit you and others. So um, if you are going to judge yourself, judge yourself in a positive way and judge others in a positive way as well, or step away from people that you feel you have to judge negatively. Now we got indecision. So it's like, you're really making the decision. I'm proud of you. I feel like this decision is you taking care of your light body, you allowing yourself to evolve. You're making that decision to listen to your intuition. Now we have an inner voice, right? Our intuition is that inner voice that guides us to our best self, the version of ourself that is nice to us, that is soothing, to us, towards us throughout our journey. That inner voice that's being toxic and mean and hurtful, that's our ego, a toxic ego that might be out of control. So check your ego, right? Listen to your intuition though, and make decisions based off of what makes you feel the best here, which anything that's bringing more light into your essence, into your body, which is forgiveness. I feel like somebody's definitely making the decision to forgive. Forgiveness does not make you weak. It makes you strong. It takes a strong person to forgive. One more. Wow, we got friendship showing up. Friendship showing up in reverse. There could be a friendship that um, is toxic here that you're dealing with, right? You might have blocked this person or this person might have blocked you, vice versa, whatever. Take it how it resonates. But um, I do feel like this is an imbalance in a friendship going on here. I feel like you could have been very devoted to a specific friend group or friends. And um, they might have been a little bit blocked off or closed off. That's the energy I'm getting. But I feel like Spirit is saying right now, just focus on your health right now. Try not to care too much about friendships at this point in time if you feel that um, it's a stress tied to it, right? If you have stress tied to your friend groups or whatever, definitely focus more so on your health at this point in time because I feel like it could be affecting your health. Um, honor your body, right? This is what it says. I honor my physical vessel that enshrines my soul. So definitely um, take care of your heart. I feel like here, the more you pour into relationships or connections with people that don't have your best heart's interest, then uh, of course, it's going to have an effect on your own health. You're going to be creating unnecessary stress, um, anxiety attacks, even heart attacks. I feel for somebody, there could have been like... Um, the feeling of like your heart being under attack, like your heartache. I'm getting the energy of heartache, but Spirit is saying like, just pray yourself through this. If you're, if you're meant to be friends with these people, pray over it. If you really want to be friends with these people, if you want to um, clear the way. But I do feel here, Spirit could be trying to move you away from certain people, trying to move certain people out of your life, trying to make you go in a different direction. Then we got pathway. Wow. Pathway. It's your choice to follow whatever path that it is that you want to follow. I feel like there's some new friends or new relationships that you're going to be meeting on your path. People that don't judge you. People that understand your uniqueness. People that shine light into you, pour light into you instead of casting darkness over you. I feel like there's definitely some new people that you are meeting on your path. I feel like you're following the path of transformation here too. Look at those butterflies. Beauty. There's a lot of beauty coming your way on your path. Then we got the message. Oh, wow. You're receiving a message. This is a divine message too. You could be getting a message in the mail or through DMs or a text message here. Somebody reaching out to you to tell you how much they care about you. There could be somebody sending you a message of forgiveness too. Somebody could be sending you a message of forgiveness or you could be sending out a message to someone. I'm getting a phone call. It could be like a phone call or it could be like a text or email. July could be very significant for somebody. Wow, we got um, privileged lady wanted to come out. So yeah, you're about to be very much privileged. There's something like where um, in terms of your life increasing, 
your value going up realizing that you are very privileged you can definitely be coming into contact with a woman who is well off or this is just your energy at this point in time taking care of yourself right treating yourself better protecting yourself from um poor energy and poor choices privilege privilege lady I feel like you're making a decision to acknowledge how privileged you are and giving more energy to that than anything else. You are privileged. And you're about to be meeting other privileged people, people who are um people who have things to bring to the table and you're stepping out of this energy of concern. Spirit is saying concern be less concerned about things. Get out of your head. Stop being so concerned about um people or things that don't have your best interest i do feel here it fell under friendship so there could be some friend group or something that you're really concerned about but like spirit i feel that you are now stepping out of that energy and not being so concerned about it you're trusting that things are going to work out a message of concern is coming through though message of concern that's so funny how those both fell out together so i feel like you could get some sort of message here um a, a concerning message or like some message from somebody but you're not really too concerned about it um it's like spirit is just saying pray pray about it pray it pray about it if you are concerned if you get some sort of message that is very concerning at this point in time don't be so stuck in your head about it Definitely, I feel this energy of reaching out to a friend. If there has been a friend that you've been neglecting, you might really want to reach out to them or they could be reaching out to you soon. Take it how it resonates, y'all. But I'm going to leave this reading here. I hope y'all did benefit from this message in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, okay? Comment below uh, your situation if anything was confirmed here. And until next time, peace, love, and prosperity.